bankers. So they created jobs. They grew wealth. Nigeria's only network provider, which was Intel. We had just about, uh, I realized, 400 lines. Totally, less than 500,000. 400,000, 500,000 lines. In the whole of Nigeria. There will be deregulation of the telecom sector. Where would 160 million people go to? For some of you that are already citizens of UK, US, or you have body visa to, to everywhere, the whole, the whole of Ethiopia will know that there is something happening in Africa. So the world will feel the impact of the break up in Nigeria. And that happened. You know, there was a revolution, silent revolution. But it is obvious that only entrepreneurship revolution can take us from where we are at the moment to the next level. Government is not in the business of generating wealth. I read so many state governments saying, you know, they've created so many jobs, even at the federal level, and I laugh. How do you create jobs? When in the last one week, Open at the Baba cannot bath. Um, Aisha, the sniffers, cannot do nothing. All of us were grounded for the past few years. I don't know of anybody that made money except the four importers. Even the four queues were just rising and there was no fault to sell. So it was a total chaos. And when you have an economy that is driven previously by oil and gas, but the recent study and the rebasing of the economy shows that 51% of the contribution to the GDP came actually from the service sector. And that comprises telecoms, SMEs, you and I, everybody providing professional services, including trainers. It shows that we moved from the oil-based economy to the service-based economy. And the difference between us and China is the fact that China has skilled population, but we have educated and unskilled population. When you have the fastest growing economy, which is about the size of about five, ten billion dollars, I hope I'm correct. And we have unemployment at the rate of 25 percent. Sorry, poverty rate at the rate of 25 percent. Unemployment, according to some figures, is about 75 percent. There's a disconnect between economic growth and development. For any nation to sustain itself, to move to the next level, wealth has to be created. A lot of people have to move from the bottom of the pyramid, as appreciated by Henry, to the middle class. And more wealth has to be created, we should have more millionaires. I heard a very big um, argument during the campaign processes that Nigeria, Nigeria now has the highest number of private jets. And I'm wondering, who measures success by the number of the privileged few that can now afford private jets? When people like you cannot send their kids to school, when an average take-home pay or an average civil servant cannot give him decent meal and cannot provide jobs for him, Sorry, provide jobs for people around you. An average Nigerian has about 10 dependents. Dependents. And when you look at that, that is the causes or main, main cause of corruption. When you have to take care of people and you need means to do that and you can't find the means. We see the total collapse on the public institution. I went to the public institution all through and through. Christ to was where I finished from. And I can only say I'm, I'm a product of public school from primary school to university. So when nobody wants to send his kid to the primary school, uh, sorry, to the public school anymore, and your income cannot afford the primary school, what do you do? You resort to corruption. You start stealing money. So, it is very simple. The only solution to our growth, our, develop, our development as a people, lies in, in, in entrepreneurial uh, development. And how do we achieve this? There is a disconnect between what is being taught in school 
and the needs of the job market. The schools no longer teach you what you need to survive. And that is why it is my worst moment when I'm doing job interview or I'm conducting job interview for people. Because you see people that, due to no fault of theirs, they are lame. They have no idea. They even don't know why the prospect or the cause is studied. Is there any school offering social media in Nigeria? As a cost. When Nigerians are traveling from Nigeria to other parts of the world to teach social media, I know somebody that has done that. Traditionally, the old school is taking, sorry, the new school is taking over from the old school. What you read some few years ago is no longer relevant anymore. It is not rocket science for us to know that it is not sustainable for a nation to wake up, you know, overnight and you see the price of, sorry, the, um, the rate of dollar to Naira. Naira going falling from 175 to about 230. Who does business that way? A lot of taxation can be made profits internally generated revenue from taxation. Um, up, to, up until recently, if you buy anything in the UK, you're paying 17.5%, now it's 20%. That economy is driven by taxation. You have an option to either go to China or go to the UK. Now, the raw materials for the future, and which is what brings me back to what Eric talked about, is innovation. Serial entrepreneurs are emerging every day. That are providing solutions to the world's problem. How do we connect this innovation, disruption? How do we take it to the next level where wealth are generated at all levels? What Nigerians are asking for is not rocket science. They need constant power, they need electricity, transportation, access to finance. If you don't have those basic elements and you're measuring your growth by how many private jets, have been bought by individuals in Nigeria. I think that's a shame. I also believe that the future of Nigeria, Africa, lies in entrepreneurship. And also, the future of Africa lies in Nigeria because it's the fastest growing economy and it's the largest, um, uh, uh, sorry, is the largest black nation in the whole world. So, how do we move away from here? Leaders have to Put, put on their thinking cap as entrepreneurs. And entrepreneurs have, have to start finding their ways into leadership position. The change that you and I truly desire is not going to come from governments. It's going to come from people like individuals and entrepreneurs. Thank you very much.